This video is actually for the family of Little Miss Molly here. Um, I won't have the opportunity to meet with them um, to go over her training at pickup. So I just wanted to run through a few hand commands and some good information for you uh, before I get into her training session and show you um, actively what she can do. So this is Molly. You can hardly see her against my black, my black jacket. Oh, isn't she cute? Hey, look. Sweet little gal. Very, very sweet. Very, very smart. Anyways, so first up, these are the hand commands. So sit. Um, you'll just stand here and you'll bring your hand like this, okay, above her or in front of her. And this means sit. So you don't have to say sit when you do this because it's a hand command. You simply do this and she knows to sit and she sits. The moment she sits, you will work, use the word good. It's a marker word to tell her that exactly what she just did is going to deliver her a treat, that that is uh, what you wanted her to do. So you go like this, she sits, you say good, you give her a treat. So down is simply pointing down to the ground. You can do it about at her level, below her. Um, you can point actually to the ground with your finger touching the ground, or you could even be standing up and uh, point down like this and she'll respond to all three different ways. She knows that this means down. All right, touch is you go like this with the palm of your hand to the side of her body, either side, either hand. You say touch, she will nudge your palm with her nose, you say good, and then you give her a treat, okay? It's a great tool to um, maneuver a dog to different uh, places um, as need be. You'll see me do it through her training session, okay? Uh, to get her to kennel, meaning going in her kennel. She's just sitting down here. I wish you could see her just waiting for me, being so patient. Look at watching me. Um, anyways, kennel, you just go like this, and you point to the kennel, right? To the front of the kennel and say kennel and she will go in, okay? She'll turn around, you say good, you give her a treat. You can also get her to down in the kennel, you can say good and give her a treat, okay? Stay is also very easy. Stay is taught um, in a certain area, a place. So I place her in a bed to place. You just point to the bed right over the bed, say place. She will skip on over there and sit and turn around and look at you because she knows the stay is more than likely coming next. So stay is from there. You just make sure you have eye contact going on with her. If she's looking around at other things, then she's not gonna pay attention to what the next command is. So as she is looking at you and you make that connection, you say stay, just like this, and you walk away from her, just like this, okay? And then you come all the way back to her and when you get back to her, you then can say good and give her the treat, okay, at that point in time. Don't say good when you're way back there. Come all the way to her, say good, and give her the treat, okay? Leave it's also pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple. During training session, you'll see me do that. I take a treat and I put it in front of her a little bit of a distance. You can do it kind of close. Um, you can drop it. Uh, you want to try all these different scenarios to better her reliability um, with the leave it. So you'll see me drop it, place it, whatever. I'll say leave it. She'll probably look at the treat. Then she'll look up at me because she knows I'm going to get a treat from my hand um, if I don't touch that treat she told me to leave. So um, as soon as she makes that eye contact with you or you wait a few seconds or whatever, you can build on that and make it longer if you want to. Um, give the treat, say good. Um, and then just do it over, okay? So when you're doing these training sessions, I know this sounds kind of crazy and crude, uh, but I like to tell people or use the uh, saying that uh, you, training is easy, okay? Um, to be honest, uh, to keep up this training with her, you really only have to do it like one time a day. Uh, you wanna build on it, you have to do it more than that, okay? Um, but this is my saying, it's so easy and it doesn't take that much time, you can do it while you're on the toilet. It's true though, all right? So training session is like three to five minutes. Um, you do it once a day, you'll definitely be able to keep her up on what she has learned thus far. You do it more than that, you can build on it, okay? So I do recommend three times a day, 
remember it's three to five minutes um, and you can portion out her meals um, in the morning time on the on the cabinet if you want to um, and make sure all her food is coming from your hands uh, rather than um, you know placing the bowl on the floor uh, that is why we make uh, such great progress in a short amount of time is because most of her food intake is coming from my hands I don't uh, lose out on any opportunity possible so even if uh, they're fed a kibble diet I can and even um, use those opportunities and give them one piece of kibble at a time and train within that time. So hopefully that makes sense to you. It's up to you how far you take it from here. All right, and I'm here for support as always. I think that pretty much covers it. If I missed anything, you'll see it in the video. All righty. All right. All in place. Stay. Good. Stay. Good girl. Let's go over here. Good. 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 So these are the hand commands for the sit and the down. Good. 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 Touch. Good. Touch. Good. Touch. Good. Touch. Good. Sit. Good. So now we're moving into the verbal. Sit. Good. Sit. Good. Sit. Down. Good. Sit. Good. Down. Good. Sit. Good. Sit. Down. Good. Place. Good girl. Go get it. Reloading. What I mean by reloading is when I do treat sessions, treat sessions, I mean training sessions. We could call it treat sessions too if we want. I just preload a handful here for me to work with so I can just move quicker with her, all right? So now we'll do uh, leave it. Leave it. Not quite. Leave it. Good. Leave it. Good. So as you can see, when I put it down, she looks right straight to my hand because she knows where the treat's going to come from. Leave it. Good girl. And she'll look back and forth because it is tempting. This is normal. Leave it. Good. Leave it. Good girl. So you can build on it and you can also go closer. Leave it. Good girl. Let's see how close we can get before the temptation kicks in. Leave it. Ah, leave it. Good girl. Leave it. Good girl. Leave it. Good girl. That's pretty close. Leave it. Good girl. All right, so now I'm gonna introduce the crate and I'll show you that she can go in and out. She already knows what's up. She is just guessing what's next, next what's coming next. She's a smart girl, kennel. I don't even have to tell her. She knows the drill. You can have her go get it out of the kennel. Go get it. This is all so really fun for them, so you should, throughout training, have her go get it anyways. Gives a reset and also makes it fun and encouraging. Kennel. Good. Down. Good. Touch. She knows they're gonna stay in the kennel. Touch. When I ask her to, down. So she'll kind of wait it out and wait for a touch or a go get it to get her out. All right, kennel. Down. It's kind of like a down stay, really. And she waits for instruction from there. All right. Move it along. We'll do this a few more times. Good girl. Go get it. Go. Down. Good. Good girl. And this is 
how we build on the stay in the kennel as we just uh, as she stays there I'll just keep feeding her treats a bit right it builds on the time touch good girl that's a nice big and that's pretty much it